Welcome back. Two NASA astronauts who have been at the International Space Station since June are one step closer to returning home. Now they were supposed to spend about a week on board the ISS, but after NASA determined it was unsafe to bring them home on the Boeing Starliner, their mission was extended to nine months. NASA astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams should be heading home soon. After a scrubbed mission earlier this week, NASA's SpaceX Crew 10 mission successfully lifted off from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida yesterday. I'm happy to report that Falcon 9 safely delivered the crew and Dragon to their intended orbit. The spacecraft powered by a Falcon 9 rocket will dock with the International Space Station late today. We're going to take it one step at a time and watch the vehicle carefully and watch the crew carefully on the way to rendezvous docking. That crew, which includes two NASA astronauts, a Japanese astronaut, and a Russian cosmonaut, will stay on the station for roughly six months, relieving the current four-person crew, which includes Williams and Wilmore. Now let's put some fire in this rocket. The pair arrived in space on an eight-day test flight last June on the Boeing Starliner. That mission, stretching to several months after NASA and Boeing brought the Starliner back to Earth, without the two due to technical issues. NASA insists Williams and Wilmore were never stuck or stranded. Williams has now broken the record for the most spacewalking time by a woman. I think a lot of people know about our, our situation, but I also am excited that people are paying attention and understanding a little bit more about uh, science and space. We've been paying attention, and NASA says the crew could be home as soon as Wednesday. Docking at the ISS is scheduled tonight at 1130. They will open the hatch and enter the station at 105 tomorrow morning.